I'm Johnny. I'm looking a little uh, hobo-esque. Who's, Who's scruffy, scruffy looking? looking? And it's time for learning. So I've talked about this before, and I'll probably talk about it again, because honestly, it's a really fascinating topic. There's something really cool about learning how to learn, but I'm really all about these self-referential strange loops. Over the holidays, I ran onto this really fascinating mental model of how people learn called Bloom's Taxonomy. And it basically illustrates six stages of learning. Remembering, understanding, applying, analyze, evaluate, create. Now, the first stage remembering is listing. It's knowledge gathering. It's very simplistic. That's important because you have to start somewhere. The second stage, and I've talked about this before, once you've listed all of the data, you start to interpret it and eventually get to a point where you're able to explain it. Now, the third stage of applying, when you're able to take what you've learned, like a method on how to learn, and apply that to, for instance, producing a video blog on how to learn. But these are the lower levels of learning. You have to go through them, but there's another set on top. There's a journeyman level. Instead of depending on rote repetition and technique, they depend on creativity, reason, and original thought whatever that is. Like level four, analyze. You start to piece together different sections of information and look at the relations of how they work. There's level five, evaluate. Like, is this even worthwhile? Yes. What are the pitfalls? For instance, Bloom's taxonomy map is not the territory of learning. And finally, all of this leads to level six, the ultimate level of creation. You take everything that you have learned so far and create something new, original, and novel from it. Now, it's no accident that this video is quite self-referential when it comes to the learning process. The actual process of learning is much deeper than just this. Proper application of Bloom's taxonomy means going around in a spiral. Stage six, that final act of creation, leads to a new phase of step one, remembering, knowledge gathering. When I was researching this, I came to my own conclusions. I found I could make some interesting relations between the first three levels and the next three levels, where step one, remembering, would relate to step four, analyze. There were kind of two sides of the same coin. The first side is concerned with technique and rules. The other side is concerned with a larger application of those rules and even the remixing and breaking of them. So here you can kind of see how I've contextualized Bloom's taxonomy for myself. I also explain a little bit in the doobly-doo. So what do you think? Are there other maps of learning that are worthwhile? There probably is. I'd love to hear about them. What are the best ways that you find to learn? And as Buddy Jesus says, let me know down in the comments below. And remember, kids, learning is fun.